What's up guys, uh, Mumber the Kid here back again. Welcome back to another edition of Geek Thought. And uh, today guys, um, we're here to talk geek as always. I'm going to hit you with some a little stimulants of uh, geekism for you guys. If that's okay with you. Geek geekism is one hell of a drug. Trust me, I'm addicted to it. And... Um, Kind of hard to get off of it, you know what I'm saying? Well, with that being said, uh, we're here to talk about uh, a little rumor that's going around on the other side of the tracks with uh, DC and Warner Brothers and things like that. Uh, recently, the last thing last thing I talked about on Geek Thought was that um, that Warner Brothers is interested in replacing uh, Ezra Miller with Lucas Till as as a Flash. That was a rumor. Uh, I got some good good feedback with that. That was really good. I respect that. Thank you, my back. Uh, so another rumor has come out and um, there are a lot of websites that are saying the same thing. Um, you just punch in the character that I'm going to talk about. And the character, you should already see it already. Um, and it's the one and only Babs! Batgirl! Yo, Babs! Yeah, y'all know Batgirl. Um, I hate when people call her a seedless character. For all those people who say that, you get that. Don't don't call her that. Okay? Shouts out to Gail Simone, my friend Gail. Gail, I love you. Um, she did an amazing job of re reinventing that character, making her more than what she was, making her better, and nobody can tell me that, ain't nobody can tell me any differently, ain't nobody can tell me that Gail made Batgirl better. Her run is the quintessential Batgirl run that I always recommend people to, yes, I'm a Gail Simone loyalist, and I'm gonna always promote her like that. If you got a problem with what your alpha's saying, you can leave the pack real quick, real fast. But with that being said, I digress. So, rumor is Warner Brothers is reportedly looking at Daisy Ridler, Rit, Rit, Ridley, excuse me, to star in the Batgirl movie that we've been hearing about for all this time. The same Batgirl movie that Josh Whedon was attached to, but he dropped because he had nothing. He couldn't. He had nothing. He he didn't know what to do with it. This is the same Batgirl movie. Now, if we know Miss Ridley, we know her as, I wish I had a lightsaber with me, but yeah, we know her as Ray. And uh, here's a little quote. Um, I'm going to read a little bit of it, uh, but here we go. Okay, so now this is coming from a, one other site. Uh, this is coming from Geek Tyrant. I'm just reading, but there's been other sites that have talked about it. But, well, it looks like she might... Okay, with Daisy Ridley run on Star Wars Complete, she is open to all kinds of different film projects. She could even take on a few new franchise if she wanted to at this point. Well, it looks like she might get that chance with DC. According to a report by We Got the Covered, Warner Brothers is looking at casting Miss Ridley and Catherine Langford. Uh, she is from, Lang Miss Langford is from a, a, the series uh, 13 Reasons Why to star in Batgirl. Ridley is said to be their top choice at the moment. Uh, nothing is confirmed. This is just a rumor. And we don't even know if the studio has been meeting with the actresses yet. If Ridley or Langford are really up for the role, uh, it could it it would be fine. Either one of them were casted. It, if it was previously rumored that the studio was looking at Kirsten Stewart for the role and Jane uh, Levi from Evil Dead also wants in on the action. Levi is actually my favorite. 
this is the writer saying Levi is the actual favorite choice for all the actresses in Rumor. Um, uh, DC's Batgirl movie is being written by Kristen uh, Hodgson, the same writer who who brought us the Bumblebee movie and is also doing the upcoming Birds of Prey movie. When previously talked about bringing Batgirl to the big screen, Miss uh, Hodgson said, I'm in the middle of falling in love with her. I always feel differently at the beginning, middle, and end. Charlie feels like an old friend now because that was a while ago and because of because of she is so personally inspiring Harley just feels like a crazy alter ego uh, when I'm feeling nuts that's when Harley comes up and is and bad girl honestly is fun there's a little piece of me in every character I write they start with me and then they take on a life of their own she went on to explain that she hopes to bring something fresh and new to the character um, and she talks more about basically uh, the, their uh, inter renditions of the characters and things like that okay so that's pretty much the rumor going on so How do I feel about this? How do I feel about if they casted Daisy Ridley as as a uh, Batgirl? Because I they they, they got to I'm sorry, it's got to be Barbara. I I can't see them skipping Barbara. Okay, I know. Yeah, in the Birds of Prey movie, they're doing uh, Cassandra Cain, um, but she's like a little girl in that. She's not even, and that's okay, but. Batgirl, Barbara Gordon, not not Stephanie Brown. No offense to Stephanie Brown fans, I like her too. Um, no no offense to you know Katie Kane. You know, yes, yeah, she was a bat. She was Batgirl pre crisis. See, y'all y'all bet y'all don't know that. Um, but how do I feel about this? I'm okay with it because for me, honestly, I still want to see a Batgirl. And I kind of got into this discussion on, on Facebook about it too. Like, you know, I'm said I was, I I was like, look, I'm down. This is interesting. If, if this is going to work, cool. I don't want DC to fail in the movies. Okay. They're starting to get the ball rolling. You know what I'm saying? They're starting to get that ball rolling. They're starting to really understand. Okay. That darkness doesn't work for every character it don't it doesn't it never has Batgirl is an ex is a, another example of the bat family where darkness don't work it she's not a dark character there's been a lot of dark crap that has happened to her yes but she's not a dark character um but DC and Warner Brothers and I blame a lot more on Warner Brothers Warner Brothers, they stick their nose into a lot of stuff because they have that executive right to do that. But creative differences, you know, you know the deal. But Batgirl, I'd be cool with the Batgirls because I've said it before. Live action movie. Because I got into this conversation before about it. When I said live action, people already said, well, well, Chris, what are you talking about? The, the, the first live action rendition was uh, Yvonne Craig in 60s Batman. And I'm like, you didn't hear what I just said. Movie. Movie. I do not want the last movie rendition of Batgirl to be Alicia Silverstone. I don't. That's me. That's me. That's me. Personally, I don't because that was a mockery of a character. That was what I like to call a, 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 a combination of Batgirls. To me, that Barbara Gordon was a little, maybe about 15% of Barbara, about maybe 85% of cassette, uh, of Stephanie, and at that time, I don't think Stephanie Brown was even out yet. Uh, correct me on that. I could be wrong. I think Stephanie just came in as Robin. Could be wrong. Correct me, guys. And I, 
uh, uh, Helena and just she was just a mixture and the whole concept of her being Alfred's niece what, what were y'all thinking what were you thinking with that you know what I'm saying but I want Babs I want Barbara I want Barbara Gordon I want the intelligent fiery redhead who's got a photographic memory Oracle based kick-ass lead that's what I want I want Barbara you can't skip Barbara I'm sorry you can't you can't you can't skip her and then say oh well she 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 got crippled already so now she's just Oracle no nah, you don't do that don't I, I've seen that done before birds of prey TV series uh, but but no we we got to we got to do Barbara and as far as I'm concerned if Miss Ridley takes on the role, I'd be fine with it. I don't think I've actually heard her speak with an American accent, but here's how I always say with any actor who uh, is British, Australian, or Irish, they can fucking do it. They can do it. It's, it's something about a British actor, an Irish actor, or an Aussie. They can get those accent, that American accent down just like that. There's no doubt about it. They can instantly get that 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 accent down. Um, that's that's pretty much it. Every um, every Irish or British or or uh, Aussie actor or actress I've seen who does an American accent, they do pretty damn good jobs at it. Um, there's never been a discretion of them not being able to do a proper accent. You know what I'm saying? So, um, if Miss Daisy Ridley does take on the role, I'd be cool with it. I, I'm not the biggest Chris Kirsten Stewart fan. I never have. Um, I know she's recently, she's, she's remake Charlie's Angels. She's going to be in that new Charlie's Angels movie. I saw the trailer. I, eh, it, it, you know, I, I, it's cool to see Elizabeth Banks because I do like Elizabeth Banks. She's playing... The female Bosley, okay, uh, Patrick Stewart, okay, but, you know, I, no, um, and the other actress, uh, Catherine Langford, i seen images of her, she's got the red hair, she's got the red hair, and I'm like, I see Barbara, I can see it, and it's funny, because I posted this on my Instagram account, and an inspiring actress has been, she came on and said, you know, I'm, I'm, petitioning to get this role and I'm like I'm like go for it like go for it I saw the act and I'm like you you look like you look like Barbara as well but yeah Batgirl is a, a character that you know when you do a character from from the Batman family it's hard because then everything is involves around Batman it's like okay so when's Batman gonna show up you know and like I said with Batman with with Bart with Batgirl, excuse me, the first live action rendition of Batgirl was Yvonne Craig from the '60s Batman. That was the Batman that my dad grew up on. So, you know, um, then came and in that show she was kind of she was quirky but still cool. But when she came on, it was like okay, make sure she doesn't get hurt. So it's always Robin and and Robin and um, Batman. Uh, helping her, she would always just throw a high kick, and that was about it. I'm dead serious about that. Uh, but over time, we saw Batgirl, and comic-wise, we saw her evolve. And especially with the Killing Joke, it really took off from there. Like when Joker shot her, crippled her, and she became Oracle, it 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 changed her character. Gail Simone comes on later on during the DC New Fifty Two, and puts a whole new swing into her character and everybody was talking about that run not just me but my my good friend blue goblin we, we and we were praising that there were people praising gail's run and i would love to have i loved if gail was maybe a creative director creative you know writing staff on this role as well because you know gail knows this character gail loves this character but 
I would be fine if whatever one of these ladies gets it. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't want to see DC fail at the box office because I think they've done pretty good job so far with three movies so far. You had, you had Captain Marvel, Billy Batson. You had Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman's first. You had Aquaman, which was really good. So keep the ball rolling. Showcase that you don't have to go dark with everything. I don't really care for this Joker movie. I'm sorry, that's just me. If you want, if you're gonna go see it and you like it, more power to you. But for me, my favorite Joker is a character that we don't know anything about. His origin is wrapped and blanketed in secrecy. That's what makes him intriguing to me. The Birds of Prey movie, I'm 50-50 on because that's not the Birds of Prey to me. I love Margot Robbie as Harley, but she does not need to be in this movie. Um, and you know they're doing, you know they're doing the Suicide Squad over, you know they're the, the Matt Reed's Batman. Okay, but there's still abundance of characters that I know I want to see. I know probably you, my pack, want to see as well. Batgirl could be another one that could be one of those hidden secrets and those hidden gems that people look at like, wow, that was really good. You know, who could they cast as the major villain? Who could it revolve around? I had one guy say to me, a friend of mine tell me, why don't they do the story of her tracking down her brother? You know, who became a serial killer? I'm like, ooh, James Jr.? That may be something, but who knows? You know what I'm saying? Who knows? But with that being said, guys, what do you think of this rumor going around? Daisy Ridley could be cast as as Batgirl for for Bat for the DC Batgirl movie. Uh, what do you feel about this? Please leave your please leave your opinion, your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, please like, share, hit that thumbs up button, as well as guys. Uh, hit those notifications so you're always aware of when I upload a new vid uh, as well pack um, the pack is continuing to get stronger we are now last time I checked we are at 9635 pack members you know the pack is getting stronger we're almost at 10,000 um, when I reach 10,000 I will probably do a I will do some kind of giveaway or something like that to just sh express my love and thanks for reaching 10,000. We'll probably do a live stream for that day uh, whenever it reaches. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this Geek Thought. You guys tell me in the comment section below. I just said that, didn't I? I just said that. I just said that. You guys just tell me what you think. Um... Stay tuned. Keep it real. As always, um, I'm out. Y'all take care.